Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting outrageous toy review. Today, we're taking a look at the Slaughter's Marauders Mutt and Junkyard. Mutt and Junkyard were the second Slaughter Marauders action figures I got as a kid. I already owned the original Mutt figure. I got him from a neighbor who gave me his G.I. Joe collection when he outgrew them, giving me quite a few 1983 and 1984 characters. I was missing pretty much all of his accessories, including Junkyard. And if you know anything about me and G.I. Joe, I love the pets. And so I picked this figure out because I need a junkyard in the worst way. And even though this was a repaint figure, which I kind of tried to avoid, I didn't mind sub teams as a kid. I didn't mind them at all. But I tried to avoid buying repaints because I was just trying to get as many characters as possible. I ended up picking up this guy just because I needed the dog. I can't remember which one I used more though as a kid, the Slaughter's Marauder version or the regular Mutt. I kind of just swapped the accessories back and forth between the two mostly. I think I used the regular Mutt a lot, but occasionally would team up this guy with my Slaughter's Marauder Barbecue, my Triple T Sergeant Slaughter, and the Renegades from the 1987 movie three pack. Mutt features the classic Slaughter Marauder color scheme of bright blue, dark brown, light green, and dark green with lots of black accents. He's got black boots, that black dog handling glove, a knife on his chest, and black accessories. His accessories contain a nightstick, a gun, which I pretended was James Bond's gun as a kid. I used to actually pretend Mutt was James Bond because his gun looked like James Bond. Uh, somewhere, I don't know, lost to the annals of time, is a James Bond movie I made. Complete with me impersonating the theme song. He's got the... Uh, his, his muzzle, which is so bizarre, but so classic of a G.I. Joe trait that the, the dog handler has to have the muzzle because he's more wild than his dog. He's got his helmet with the goggles strapped on the top. I was never a huge fan of this helmet. It never, I just never quite thought it fit perfectly on him. I think I sometimes would put a ripcord helmet on this figure. Quick correction on the fly. This is not the actual helmet that Slaughter's Marauders Mutt came with. He was supposed to have come with a plain black helmet, very similar to the 1982 and 1983 standard Joe helmet with the holes on the side of it. Uh, maybe that's the helmet I'm thinking of when I said ripcord helmet that I used to put on him sometimes. I don't know. I don't have it. I've had this helmet on him for a long time. But this must be a regular release. You can tell this is my childhood one because he's got some paint wear there on his eyebrows from putting the helmet on and off and putting the mask on. But he's in pretty good shape, all things considered. I really like the way his vest looks picked out like this. It goes nicely with the Sergeant Slaughter blue tank top. Um, I just I just really like this figure as a kid. Even though a lot of his details aren't picked out as nice. You know, his, his knee pads aren't painted on this figure. I had to go over to Yojo.com to take a look at something to see if they made any mention of it. I remember that the original Mutt has a little badge here. A star with a olive branch around it. Because I have a custom version of this figure where I picked out some of his details, like I painted the goggles on his helmet and the badge on his chest. And as I'm looking at this Slaughter's Marauders one, he has no badge. It's clearly been removed, like removed from the mold or something. He just has a flat spot there. I find that very interesting. There was a later release in the 2000s of Mutt who has the badge on him, but the European versions of Mutt do not have the badge. So I wonder what the reasoning was for that. If you have any idea Please leave a comment down below. That's the best thing about this show. I try and pass on the information I know, but also collect as much information as I can get from other people because I just have a passion for learning stuff about G.I. Joes. So as I mentioned before, I bought this because I wanted Junkyard. Junkyard is a black Ruttweiler. He's got a mean face. He comes with a rubber leash that is removable. Uh, he was an important part of the cartoon show. I think one of the real reasons why I love the pets so much is because they were... Such a great part of the cartoon. Mutt, Polly, Freedom, Timber. Uh, but when I got this one, I got him home, I was sad he does not have the brown spray app. Here is an original junkyard, and you can see he's got some brown painted between his legs there and on his chin, which just looks cool. It's just a really nice touch. You barely notice it from the side. They look basically the same. But it just, it's just a little touch that makes a big difference, and I remember being a little bit bummed out, but still happy to have a junkyard to go with my Mutt. Like many of the accessories from the early 80s, Mutt has this rubberized mask, and it fits over his face, and you just sort of flex it around, 
and it has a little strap in the back. It works just like the oxygen mask that came with Blowtorch and Ripcord. As I mentioned before, most of my earliest G.I. Joes from 83 and 84 were given to me by a neighbor, so I never took them out of the package. They just came to me in a big pile. So I had a hard time identifying those early characters that were all kind of generic and green, but characters like Mutt and Spirit were so easy to figure out because they looked just like they did in the cartoon show and they had some sort of unique attributes to them. Mutt was always one of my favorites because of him being in the cartoon, because of him having a pet, and I was really excited to get the Slaughter Marauder version one as a kid. Listen up, maggots. If you go to Jokon and you see Kevin, make sure to say hi and let him know you watch SEO Toy Review. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. In the comments down below, let me know what you think of Slaughter Marauder's Mutt and Junkyard. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.